Police have many tools at their disposal when responding to the variety of calls they receive every day to help de-escalate situations in a non-lethal fashion. But even the non-lethal tools still hurt the person they're used on. Today, officers from around the Wyoming Valley came together to learn about a new device that could fill that gap and give officers a way to restrain someone without hurting them. What it does is it fills a gap before you would use any device that would cause pain, like an electronic device of taser or a baton or a gas. The device Don DeLuca is talking about is called the Bola Wrap 100. The wrap itself is an eight foot bola style tether. The bola wrap is launched at 640 feet per second and wraps around and secures the subject. So often we get called to homes and people say, listen, my husband hasn't taken his medicine, my son is on medication, but he hasn't been using it. Someone in crisis, the officers would show up and try to put the person into a control situation, but they're not complying. So this gives us the distance of 10 to 25 feet to discharge a remote dis restraint that'll hold their arms down, or secure their legs so they can't run, so we can safely take somebody into custody. DeLuca is a retired police chief and was part of law enforcement for 33 years. He says that the bolo wrap is a need to have device. So in today's world of mental health and all the other things that officers are asked to deal with in becoming the de facto social services, we can deal with it in a way that's gonna keep people safe, stop people from getting hurt, stop law enforcement from using force that might not be necessary, and I see it as a win-win for everybody. Chief Christopher Jago, the director of public safety at Wilkes University, says that the police officers attended the demonstration to see if the device was something they would like to implement in their own departments. I think that uh, once again it's great that we have that ability to reach out to all the departments around here because we're all dealing with the same issues. They came up with an answer to a question because what we do in law enforcement when we use force it's not pretty. People question why do we do things. So if we give officers the tools they need to do their job, it's going to be accepted. In Wilkes-Barre, Ravethi Janaswamy, Eyewitness News.